Welcome to Out of Face. Have you ever tried to get a nut in a super tight place? In my case, putting the frame stands on in the Nova, and you can't use a slip joint because, well, honestly, these things just suck. You can't really turn them, especially if you're trying to put a if you're trying to put a nut on a bolt. And you could always do what I did yesterday and tape on your finger and put the nut on top, but then, you know, of course, you lose a couple nuts inside the K-member, and who knows when I'm gonna be able to get those out. Well, what you can do is set up your friends, and they'll laugh at you, and then they tell you about these magnetic fingers. So if you wanna be like Magneto, get some of these guys, because look, you can do a frontal assault. This is pretty cool. This is what I'm actually gonna use, and I'll show you guys how much time this is gonna save me. Check that out. Frontal assault. Like, is that not the best marketing for the magnetic finger company that someone could come up with? The frontal assault? Like, man, it almost sounds like I shouldn't even be talking about frontal assaults, but anyway, um, this is the normal one. It just clicks on there on your, on your uh, fingertip. And these are, look at this. These are on there pretty, whoa, these are on there really, really good. Um, now, I got the large and the extra large, and these do stay on your fingers, of course, unless you shake it around like you're trying to be a fool on the camera. But the front, the, the one that I was most interested in was the frontal assault because I'll show you guys here in a second when I do a demo on this bad boy, which I mean for eight bucks on Amazon Prime, and I was trying to put the frame stands on yesterday. Oh yeah, sign me up. And there's not a lot of room in there. You gotta like go up, you gotta spin around, and of course I really don't wanna take the A-arms off to get better clearance, but you're basically going in there blind, you got a feel, so that's why the frontal assault is gonna come in clutch, and then of course once you get this nut on, you need to tighten it, I mean, that's, that'll be another adventure, but it's not gonna be as hard as getting the nuts started, so I just wanted to share this real quick, and uh, I'm pretty excited to tell you the truth about these magnetic fingers. Small block Chevy frame stands are going in, this used to have uh, 73 to 74 clamshells in it, that's what it looked like to me anyway. But as you can see here, unless I remove the A-arm, which I'll show you underneath, this looks pretty simple, right? You know, three bolt holes, go down underneath, tighten them up, put the engine in, and not so fast. So you're not gonna be able to see much once I go up in there, but I'm gonna be using the frontal assault. I'm definitely gonna assault that nut because I'm tired of messing with this. And, I thought, I think I, I got it. Nice, I got it. There you have it. Boom! <laughs> All right. All right, I'm so excited we finally got the frame stands in. All thanks to Magnetic Fingers. These things definitely worth the $16 investment. You know, for those times that you need to pull them out every three years or so. But uh, I'm covered in grease. It's pretty hot in here. So I'm gonna go and do the uh, valve springs in the 5.3 real quick. We'll be dropping this engine in before we know it. Thanks everyone for watching, I'm T-Brand. We'll see you on the next one.